What's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you and showing you the proper form for deadlifting. Um, and the reason you should deadlift, why deadlift, is because deadlifting is one of, if not the best exercise for overall building strength and muscle. And I say this because it's a full body exercise. It works a lot of muscles. If you look it up, technically it's working like way more muscles than you would think. But primarily, it works the posterior chain. So that's the hamstrings, glutes, and uh, back. And I think everyone should do it because, well, for everybody, if you want to increase your strength overall and then in your other lifts, deadlifting is a great thing for that. And then ladies, if you want to have that nice toned, strong lower back and that nice booty, you got to do some deadlifts of some sort to help you. So I think deadlifting should be in everybody's routine in some form, everybody should be doing the deadlift. All right, now before I get into the proper form, there are actually two primary types of deadlift. And powerlifting considers these both kind of the same, and that is sumo, sumo deadlift, so your stance is sumo wide, and then you pull from here. And then you have conventional, which is right here, and you pull just like this. So there's two different types. Now, they're actually very different. Even though powerlifting considers them the same, sumo works more of your glutes and hips and hamstrings, and then conventional is more even throughout your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Now, like I said, they're very different. So I would recommend, if you're not powerlifting, do both of them. If you're powerlifting, stick with one so you get good at it and do the most weight, but otherwise, do both of them to get the optimal muscle growth and the benefits from both. So the principles for form for both conventional and sumo are actually very similar. So basically the same. So what you want to do, the first step when you come to deadlift is you're going to step up to the bar with your natural width or for your stance. So you could go sumo, you could go here. I'm conventional and I like to go about shoulder width just like this. Alright, so once you have your stance, how you like it, you want the bar to be over the middle of your feet. As you can see, the bar is like in the middle of my foot. It's not out here over my feet and it's not right on my shins. It's over the middle part of my foot. Step number three, once you have the bar over the middle of your foot, your stance selected, you're gonna go straight down with your arms. You're gonna reach straight down. You don't wanna go out here. You just wanna go straight down. And straight down should be outside your legs. So if you're sumo, it's inside. Straight down, inside straight down, outside, just like that. That's your grip. All right, once you have your stance, the bars over your midfoot, you know where you wanna put your hands to grip it, we're gonna get into hinging and bending at the legs, not just at the back to get down to the bar. So think about it as like sticking out your butt. You stick out your butt and you hinge at the hips, get down to the bar, and you want your hips to be between your knees and your head. So hips between your knee and your head, this is where you should be. You're not bending straight over, you're hinging at the hips. Okay, next step, you got the hand and everything, you want to retract and tighten your upper back. So you're not loose, retract and tighten your upper back. Okay, once you're retracted your back, you're going to pull the slack out of the bar. So if you see the bar, it's limp, pull it tight. So you're not jerking, you're pulling it tight before you pull up. Now with all these steps, bar over midfoot, got your stance, got your grip, you're gonna hinge your hips, pull back tight, pull the slack out of the bar, straight up. And it should be rest on your hips. Straight up. Okay, let's get into some common mistakes that happen when you're deadlifting. So the first one is when you pull it up, you get at the top, a lot of people go like this. You don't wanna overextend this way, you don't want to be overextended this way. You want to be straight up and down. Not leaning back, not bending forward, straight up and down. Mistake number two is jerking the weight off the ground. It's like this. You, instead of pulling the slack out, you, you jerk it. And that's a great way to hurt your back. Pull the slack out of the bar every time. Don't jerk it off. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Mistake number three is doing touch and go. And what I mean is, when you're deadlifting, you just, you're not, what you wanna do instead of doing that is let it rest, go back up, let it rest. And you do this because it helps you maintain your form and proper movement 
throughout the whole thing so you don't hurt yourself and you move optimally. Mistake number four is squatting down too much. So you squat down so much you're like this. You don't want to squat down too much and that is because when you come around in front, Quinn, and that is because if you squat down so much, it's going to hit your shins. It shouldn't hit your shins when you pull up. If you see, if I pull straight up, it's going to hit my shins. That's because you're squatting down too much. It should not hit your shins. Instead, work on your hip um, flexibility and uh, bending at the hips. Tip number five is going to be when you pull not in one movement. So you're pulling with your back first or your legs first. So that looks like this. And when you pull, you like my back came first, oh, legs came first. And that is just not optimal. It's hard on each spot because it's not working the whole body. So you want to pull up in one fluent movement. And it's honestly kind of hard for me to show because I normally go on fluent movement, so I don't even know if I can show my back going or my legs going first very well, but you want one fluent movement. <laughs> All right, the last mistake and probably the most common mistake is a rounded back when deadlifting. So that looks like this. A rounded back. And to fix that, retract your shoulder blades, like retract your upper back, pull the um, slack out of the bar, and also try focusing on pushing your feet into the ground instead of just pulling, like you're pushing the ground away from you. Try thinking about that. That way, your back is straight. You want your back straight, throughout the whole thing, straight the whole time. Not bent like this, not bent like this, straight. Okay, now note, if you're using light enough weight where the plate is smaller, so say you have like a 10 pound plate compared to a big plate like this, you're gonna wanna use a rack or find a plate this size so that you're not pulling from too much of a deficit because if I use that, I'm just really low. So either use the rack to be at the same height or find a plate this size. All right guys, I hope that helped. That is how to deadlift properly. Remember that, watch that twice because this is one of the lifts that the form matters the most. It's super important. Squat, deadlift, you need to know the form first. Don't go heavy till you have this form mastered. If you want my help, you can send me videos on Instagram or something and I'll reply, give you my tips. And if you have any questions, comment down below. But as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.